welcome back, this is Ballers Good with an episode of Let's Play Diablo 2. I'm joined, as always, by my paladin. And today we do have a trusty new member with us instead of Mahala, who I dumped because I hate her. We have Al Hazir, which is funny because that's the name of my mercenary on my other character. Uh, Al Hazir is a combat uh, mercenary. If you talk to Grease here, you can see that he has uh, three different kinds. I think uh, the Al Hazir is the only one that he has that's combat. That's probably why I got him in both of them. Uh, combat, he comes with an aura of prayer, which if you remember was the one that healed you. Uh, so uh, don't go for prayer on your paladin. Get it on your mercenary. Just, just a thought. Uh, the other two that you can get, if you go for a defensive uh, mercenary, you can get... Was my skill screw. You can get uh, Defiance, which is right here. It increases your defense rating, right? Uh, that that is what you can get if you can get the defensive mercenary. And then the offensive one is what I've been leveling up, Blessed Aim. Uh, but if you've noticed, I don't even use Blessed Aim, and I have it. So really, what I highly suggest is is prayer. Which is what Al Hazir has. Uh, I did buy uh, the spear in town for him. This was just the best spear that I, that was available at the time. Uh, just adds one to three fire damage. So he does more damage than me, and I gave him Mahalo's equipment. Just transferred it over. It fits. I don't know how. Uh, one thing I should note about the rogue mercenaries: you cannot equip them with Amazon equipment. Uh, for Amazon only equipment uh, you can only give them stuff that everybody can wear you know Amazon only they cannot do even though they look like Amazons uh, we're still here in Luca Lane if you forgot uh, what the name of this place was we have a long way ahead of us and as you can see our first destination is definitely in the sewers which is also where our first quest was let's go ahead and go in the sewers there are two entrances to the sewers I like this one anything to say no no smart-ass remark about how it's, like, dark and damp in here. Fine, we'll move on. I am not a fan of these sewers. Um, of these style dungeons here in Act 2. Uh, oh, yeah, dried corpses. These guys will poison you. After you kill them, back off. And then we got uh, sand raiders here. They go down pretty damn fast, actually. And we've got burning dead archers, and one of you is lightning enchanted. Think or no? That was uh, that was Al Hazir. Al Hazir is melee, so he's not going to be able to get the range that Mahalo did. But doesn't matter. He's still one-shotting everything, and he probably will throughout the entire game. That's how good he is, or at least until the next difficulty. Uh, what was here? Chip Emerald. I do need that. Now these things here, these rat's nests, you gotta be kind of careful with these sometimes. Uh, not in this particular case, I will show you one that is dangerous and I will do my best to to not show you exactly why I hate them. Uh, there's a little glitch in the game and God, you just get stuck and you can't move and it's happened to me many many times and it sucks. You have to restart the game all that kind of stuff. Damn your flaming arrows. Al Hazir, get over here and save me with your prayer. So when he has prayer active, which is always, he will heal me. In out of combat does not matter. He is constantly healing me at a constant rate until I'm fully healed. Broadsword, not worth it. Uh which is like exactly what I needed right now. Um, there's probably one that is better, but we cannot get hit get it right now. Champion burning dead archer. And another champion. I thought one of you was gonna have a different name. Really? Alright, I'll pick up the healing potions. Can't carry either one of these. Oh, because I picked up a trident. Why would I want a trident? Damn you. Oh, Hazir, you doing okay? I hope you are. This is how this relationship works, buddy. You go over and kill stuff, I loot their corpses. Yeah, these guys, as soon as... Yeah, don't don't try to click them too too much. You'll step right into their their pile. Their, their, yeah, goo piles do the same thing. They'll step right into their poison cloud. I do need to go back to town, though. 
while I was in town this time, I was able to change my belt to the strong belt of might. It has more defense and gives me plus to strength because if you remember, I just had a regular belt with no specials on it, so definitely an upgrade. Should have probably bought one the first time I was in town, but it didn't occur to me that my belt was so damn bad. Now these sewers... Uh, we haven't really gone into why I don't like them so much. Well, one, the, the layout is confusing and weird and, I don't know, it's it's so disorganized if you ask me, but, you know, what do you expect from sewers? Uh, there are two levels to the sewers, if I remember, and there might actually be a third level. Uh, but, it, it, these narrow passages really bother me for some reason, I, you know, I, don't, I can't think of an actual reason why, but they do, they bother me. Nothing I want. You, yeah, you just gotta be careful. It's probably because of the enemies here. Uh, because they're all... They all have, like, some little trick. We got the fire archers. We got the poison people. It's not fun, if you ask me. It's not fun going through here. Superior Dark. You're a Dark. Uh, have we seen a Dark? Damn it, ran right through the poison. Luckily, I still have that poison on the... Uh, poison... Guard, I guess you could say, on my gloves. Uh... That's what a dirk looks like. It's stupid. It's just a little dagger. Retina. Ooh. Targe. Is it just a regular targe? Uh, yes it is. Not as good as my Rondash, my superior Rondash. That thing is awesome. Like, they don't, they don't sell anything better than that in town. Like, the other stuff doesn't even have the defense. Even the, uh, the bone shields, which are usually the the best shields at this point in the game. Somehow I lucked across that round dash. Alright, more raiders. Why am I not level 18 yet? It would make this so much easier if I was. Al Hazir, get your ass over here. Healing is good, but I also need an attacker. Uh, sand raiders, they can also like berserk themselves. That's when they turn red. They do more damage. But they also receive more damage, I believe. It's, yeah, it's, to be honest, it's not that big of a factor this early on in the game. Down they go. Ooh, you won. Remember, that's for the necromancers. Holy crap, is that good. 3-2-2? Two, two? To some good stuff, too. Corpse explosion? Bone armor? I don't know much about how far along in the skill trees those are, but that should sell for max, which I think... Is a hundred thousand? Could be ten thousand now. I don't know. I'll, I'll I'll sell it and I'll let you know because that thing might be the best thing that I've picked up so far this game. Even though I can't equip it, that's how good that thing is. Please go away, get poison gas clouds. Thank you. Now with uh, with the auras, that's why I think that these guys are the best uh, mercenaries in the game because uh, they come with the auras. But you know, I'm kind of biased because I also have an aura. I'm a paladin, but in my opinion, they are they are the best ones in the game, and I s and I find that most people agree with me. There's uh, some later on. Uh, that say that the, the magic dealers that will come across are better. I disagree. I, I like the aura guys better. Um, some people just, you know, like range. Uh, this here is the other entrance into the sewers. It's uh, always on, on this side, on the dock side, um, and it's always down here. But, yeah, it, it's closer to where we need to go eventually, but I like going through the whole thing. It's usually very close to to the way down to, to level 2, to be honest with you. I don't know exactly why that is, but the way that the, the computer gen randomly generates it, it usually is very close to, to the way down. Now we need to go over here and finish this off when we don't need to, but I want to. I want to show everything in the game. Uh, I will... I swear, I will find a way to get through a big hunk of enemies faster, and very shortly. I mean, that's what Blessed Hammer is for. It's for, it's for area damage, you know? But I, I can't do that right now. It looks like we are done here, and we need to go down to level 2. 
Now I didn't pick up, well, I picked up a couple things. I picked up that light crossbow and I picked up the, the U1 now. That thing should be awesome. Uh, I'm, yeah, let's use a stamina potion. I might as well. We're going this way. I, I'm going to go back to town just to show you guys exactly how awesome those stuff can be because I know I know a lot of people it's never occurred to them to pick up stuff that wasn't for them that wasn't blue you know what I mean that wasn't magic wasn't uh, just a normal item yeah I dropped all my animation potions in town I am out of room Farah uh, Farah heals you and repairs so she's like a two in one here look at that sells for max 10,000 it is 10,000 unfortunately uh, if I so wanted, I could hold on to this until we go to the next town because max damage goes up by 5,000 uh, per act. But since I just started this act, there is no point in me doing that. Repair. Um, no, I don't, I, I don't need to go shopping right now. We can head back down. Uh, what I usually would do is check her armor, see if she's got anything better than what I've got, and then go over to Drognan and see if he's got a better uh, scepter than what I have and possibly a better bone shield, but to be honest, they, they haven't given me anything close that I've been able to afford yet. Uh, did I... Ah, I forgot to deposit my money in my stash. That's okay. We'll do that next time. Which should be pretty damn close, actually, because if I remember right, there really are only two levels here. And so the boss... They, they, that's not a spoiler. There's, there's a boss. They, they gave that to us as a quest. It is on this level. And he is not easy. Um, and he's a type of enemy that we will see many times. But damn it, cold enchanted. Get out of there, Baladin. Wind maimed the destroyer can be destroyed by Al Hazir. Alright, now I can come in and finish him off. <laughs> Thank you, Meat Shield. Thank you, indeed. Chain boots. Ooh, and a hawk helm. Uh, the chain boots might be better than what I got. I still don't have particularly good boots. No. The hell, seriously? Armor up of four is not worth that crappy plus one to dexterity. Any time you get like a plus one and that's it. It's horrible. I feel like dropping that right now. Might not even be worth holding on to. Burning dead. Counter to the archers. They're just like normal skeletons. Yes, go. Defensive lightning spell. Thank you. Thank you, Al Hazir. Do we have anything over here? And now, uh, now that I have. Al Hazir with me and his prayer. I will no longer need pretty much like any potions for for a long time until we face bosses. I won't I won't be using them. I, I it's just how this works. He's, when he's with me, just prayer kicks so much ass. Potions, I do not need yo damn potions. Uh, yeah, blessed aim, like I said, I mean, it increases your chance to hit, which is nice if I was missing all the damn time, but I've got pretty good dexterity. I've got a pretty good chance to hit. I think I'm max still on these things, which is still 95%. I know it looks like I'm missing a lot right now. Damn it. Pick oh, light belt. Uh, I... I'm just going to sell the light, but I don't really care. In terms of... Yeah, attack to hit... Oh, 91%. Oh, no, it's so low. Yeah, 4% less. Or I could sw you know, switch my aura and get that back to full. But to me, it's not worth it. Oh, almost missed a treasure chest here. So, a lot of treasure chests blend in with your surroundings. I think I was able to spot it there. Damn sand raiders in my way. Uh, so, I've been, um, yeah, kind of out of it past few weeks. Uh, what, what ended up happening, the last time that I uploaded a special, I, I, I think that was like the end of February, like the 29th, I uploaded it. That day, my laptop fried. Yeah. So, I, I was unable to, to save the hard drive. The hard drive is specifically what, what fried. I even have... You know, this little expansion bay where it t 
takes a, a hard drive and um, basically converts it to a USB output. Oh, there is a third bottle. Uh, and I, I hooked it up to that and hooked it up to, you know, another computer, and the computer did not recognize that there was a hard drive attached to it. it the hard drive is just gone. I, and then I tried to do it uh, manually, made a slave, hooked it up, still couldn't be identified, wouldn't even acknowledge it was there. Just gone. So unfortunately, I lost all my stuff on my computer, and I've been working to get it back. Uh, one of the big things that I had was a big list of songs. I had, um, geez, I think like, no, I know the number actually, 815 songs. Uh, luckily I had just sent it over to Luke, uh, like the whole file, because his internet sucks and he can't get it himself. I love you, Luke. Uh, but, uh, he tried to send it back to me, and, uh, it kind of got lost, so I've been trying to, uh, you know, get those songs back, which is kind of a hassle. I mean, kind of a hassle. I mean, it takes me for fucking ever. Uh, but it does mean that I have been able to rediscover music that I've been listening to for years. You know what I mean? Listen to it again. Have to go find it. Have to go see what people say about the, about it, uh, about the music get to watch videos about the, about each of the songs. I still haven't done it very often. I, I have to dedicate a lot of time to it, so I've only been able to do it, I believe, two days, uh, which has gotten me about a uh, hundred and so songs. So yeah, I, I'm a long ways off from getting that done. Uh, but it does remind me, like, when I was a kid, when I was a t teenager, yeah, this is going to be the part of the commentary where I talk about random shit. Uh, when I was a teenager, I really didn't know music at all. You know, I knew what my parents listened to, which, to be honest, was crap. Um, you know, my mom listened to... Well, it's always hard to say um, radio stations because every everyone is different so you know if I if I give you the proper name of it you're not even gonna know it uh, but whatever Ryan Seacrest is on that's what my mom listens to so really I only knew pop music from her and then uh, my dad switched back and forth between the you know a boring news channel and country music so between the two I preferred country music for a long time <laughs> I was like huh Technotronic? Garth Brooks. I think I'll go with Garth Brooks. <laughs> but uh, it didn't occur to me until probably when I was like 14, 15 that there was actually other music out there to listen to. And uh, a lot of those songs that I listened to then I'm rediscovering now. Ooh, a Huntress! Those are like cat uh, demons. They, uh,. They come in many, many forms. These ones are, are whips, I believe. They, they hurl whips. It's kind of hard to see, though. I don't know what I picked up there, but I'm going to drop it. So, yeah, wh when I was even up to, like, 14, 15, I, I still hadn't discovered good music, I guess I'll say. Uh, now I, I, I kind of listen to rock. That's, that's what I listen to, personally. And I'm a big fan of lyrics, so if if you, if I say I like a song, it's literally because I looked up the lyrics or I knew the lyrics and I thought they were good. Uh, beat, that kind of stuff, that's secondary. Um, I know not everybody is that way, but I do highly recommend... Ooh, an experience shrine. I do highly recommend to anybody listening out there that you look up lyrics to some of your favorite songs because... A lot of times, at least I've found, especially with women, they don't know what's being said. Ah, uh, fire shrine. Okay, this is this is not resist fire shrine. This is just a fire shrine. All right, let's click it. Uh, usually, you want to lure enemies here because it does that. Um, yeah. Luckily, we have prayer, which will heal us up over time. Yeah, if you lure enemies there, it'll destroy them. Uh, so, 
Yeah, I highly recommend looking up lyrics. A lot of times, you don't know <laughs> what song you're listening to. Like, even though you know the song, lyrics are just gone. And the more I look at modern music, the more I, th I think that just lyrics are, are not important. It only matters what kind of beat they, they get. So that's that's what makes a lot of popular music popular. And I'm looking at it going, this is this is just awful. Oh, a broad axe, a yellow one. Cannot equip it on anybody, but always good to sell. Still haven't found one of the rat's nests that is that is awful. It might not be in the sewers. Uh oh. This looks like a boss room down here. Maybe it's just a sacrificial cow room. Apparently it's just a sacrificial cow room. So yeah, I listen to, to a lot of rock now. And unfortunately, radio stations around here, they're clearly bought out by record labels. So it's its hard to find good new music. Uh, I did mention, I think... Well, okay, I haven't mentioned it yet. But I will mention, because I can predict the future, that in one of the Super Meat Boy episodes, I definitely quote a song that you have never heard of before. And I almost guarantee you haven't heard of it. Um, because, from what I understand, it's only been played on the local radio station here, and then in one in Sweden. I don't know how that worked out, but... They're, they're a local band out of here. Uh... I, I quoted it's Dead Sarah Weatherman. It's like a early 90s power rock. I really like it. Anyway, that's enough of me and my tastes. Uh, just, just, I recommend everybody look for music. If you, if you already have your style of music, I suggest uh, finding something that maybe isn't played on the radio. Uh, because I, that's where I find most of my favorite songs are songs that have never, ever been played on the radio. Oh, we do! have the boss here. Apparently I rambled long enough to find him. Uh, we need to actually uh, avoid all these enemies and go straight to him. He is Radiment and he is a new kind of enemy. Oh my god, I need to heal. How dare I. Okay, now all his ear is here and it's pretty much game over for you, Radiment. Um, he can actually resurrect the dead if he so choose. I thought he did. At least he's that kind of enemy, but he's not doing it yet. Oh, Book of Skill. Nice. Don't have room for it. Take a look at that one. No. So, long sword, two-handed sword, Book of Skill. You I pray that Atma will rest easy now. I'm sure she will. But first, let me grab all of this, and we do have I can't carry some more things that I can't carry. <laughs>